I feel uh, very, very good. Obviously, it's a lot of excitement running through me right now. Um, so it's it's great news. You know, something I've worked uh, worked for, and um, to to hear the news I wanted is is great. So yeah, next next step in my career now. I think yeah, definitely the last few weeks has been lots lots of speculation and uh, a lot you know a lot around the racetrack and. You know, even to my little media sessions, instead of five people, there's there's 20 or so. Uh, so it's quadrupled. <laughs> uh, so more more questions getting asked, but it's you know I, I haven't been able to answer anything answer anything. So it's it's been um, you know just normal stuff for me. Trying to, a lot of people ask the question, but I, I you know didn't didn't know any better at the time. So just just shut it off and then answered different questions. Uh, so you get used to the people around you and um, nothing strange. It's great to confirm Daniel as uh, you know the driver replacing Mark Webber. Uh, he's a product of the Red Bull Junior program. Um, you know he's uh, uh, really deserved this uh, graduation on merit. He's a, a, a talented youngster. He's he's committed. Uh, he's got a great attitude. Um, and uh, in the end, it was a, a very logical choice for us to uh, you know to nominate him as a second driver. Why didn't we announce the decision earlier? Well. Uh, for one, you know, Daniel is under a long-term contract to uh, uh, Red Bull, so he wasn't going anywhere. And we just wanted to take the time to look at what options were available. I mean, it's important for us to put the right pairing together, and there were some options that we hadn't considered previously. But um, you know, we've come to the conclusion collectively that, that Daniel is absolutely the right man for the job.